Hey guys, this one is about Semper Vivum or Semper Vivum, I don't know how you pronounce it, house leaks, right? It's an alpine succulent, can you see? Very common, very popular, and they're quite hardy as well, which is good for us in the UK. I'm going to plant these out outside. Um, now, this terracotta pot that's jam packed, brimming full cost us five pounds, which to be honest, I wouldn't normally pay that. Um, but one of my daughters was guilt tripping me and she, I really want it, so you know what it's like. So, what we can do with this though is get more plants out of it just by pinching off one of these rosettes, hopefully with a bit of root underneath. And then I'm going to, I've cobbled together some sort of planter using a brick. Um, I was inspired by one of my subscribers, um, a lady called Lori. Hello, Lori. Um, she sent me a photograph of one that her dad's done. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to keep it outside and you don't need a lot of stuff for it. Obviously, you need one of your house leaks or a few of your house leaks. Right, what I've done here is I've got equal parts of sharp sand, grit and gravel and compost. Because these plants are alpines, they normally like living in crevices on mountains. So they don't put the roots into loads and loads of rich soil. It's quite uh, gravelly and gritty where they like to grow. So I'm going to recreate them conditions. So I'll mix that all up. And what's, what, what this gritty sandy mix will give us is a very well draining uh, compost because you don't need the roots sitting in loads of water because the succulents still absorb all the water in the foliage right so that's quite a nice gritty mix now right I'll just put that to one side right talk about this location it's going to get quite a bit of sun if I put it here which is fine I'm happy with that now it's not going to live there forever because this verbena candy cane and this celery, once this dies off, that's going to go. And once the celery is bigger and it gets eaten, that's going to go. And then that brick can move up into that corner. So when we move it along to stop all the soil coming out the bottom, I'm going to use this sheep's wool. I've done another video about using sheep's wool as mulch. Didn't cost me a penny. I literally went for a walk with one of my sisters and we were picking it up off the floor in the field that we were walking through. So I'm going to just plug the bottom of each of these three holes on this air brick with just a little bit of sheep's wool. And then when we do move it around, it's going to stop all the soil coming out. So you don't need a huge amount. And the beauty about this is as well, is it will allow water to run through and drain out underneath onto the paving slabs so it's not going to be sitting you know waterlogged it's not going to act like a sponge although it will keep some moisture i dare say so we've got a little bit left over i'll use that for something else right just do this there oops as it came over the crack all my stuff's falling out right pop that back in right gritty compost And fill up each hole. Now then, propagation. Look for, I don't want a huge rolls out straight away because half of the fun of this for me will be watching them grow and get bigger. So I'm not going to get a massive one. Choose that one there. So I'm just going to tease it out. And they're on a stem. If I pull that stem out. Okay, there's a little bit of root on that stem. And some on the bottom there. So, just move that. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to dip a little hole. So I can push as much of the root as possible. as easy as that. Let's do another. So I said this pot cost us £5. I dare say you could probably buy a very small pot with just one of these in for probably like a quid. 
at a garden centre or a car boot sale, that kind of thing. And if you've got the patience, it will fill that space by producing more of these little clusters. So there's another way you can save some money. Right. So you don't need to see me do the third one. Now because I've planted these out, I'm just going to give them a little bit of a water, just in case I've stressed it by taking it away from my mother plant. Um, what I did have in mind to do was give them a top dressing around each plant with some gravel. I'm looking at it. I don't really think I need to do that. They're, they're filling the holes quite well. Um, if you're doing this into a bigger pot, it might be a good idea to put some gravel around the shoulders of each plant, just so that it's not going to be sitting in any waterlogged soil. You know, if it rains and it's in a bit of a depression, perhaps it's not going to be sitting around its shoulders in water because it won't thank you for that. But as it turns out, I don't need it on these bricks. Done. Semper vivum. I believe um, in America they also call them chicks and hens or ch hen and chicken plants. I'm not quite sure which way around it is. Um, house leak. Excellent. Nice one. Please subscribe for more free gardening related videos.